take it over to my place. You don't know what you did to me. Spicy realities to another episode of Leaving the Set Apart unapologetically on Lecture Tuesdays. Living the Set Apart unapologetically. Living the Set Apart unapologetically. Living the Set Apart unapologetically. is as usual welcome to another episode of lecture tuesdays and of course we are living set apart unapologetically and so we're starting from here so preparation for celebration so wedding dresses come with wedding preparations okay and wedding is emerging prepare and when you're preparing for that celebration there is a revelation for why for how for when, for how you want to structure things, for how you want things to be, you really have, and there is already an inspiration. It could be you saw an event or a prior wedding, okay, and you say, Oh my god, I like the way this worked. I think I want mine to work out this way. And so, this is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful thing to, you know, celebrate weddings and do a lot of celebrations and all of that but then there must be preparation it's a mindset thing when you prepare with a mindset shift okay you are able to better adapt physically and mindset shift means that even if your body is much more reluctant towards the day you know cold fit cold fit is not always because you feel like this person is wrong or you feel like this event shouldn't hold cold feet can come especially when it just feels too good to be true and it feels like oh my god like this dream is gradually becoming a reality or whatever i envisioned i'm going to be seeing it come to pass the way i want it and it's a really beautiful things when thing when things happen the way you envision it and so trust god when you have preparations okay celebrations whether you want a big celebration or you want a small re- celebration there must be a revelation and there could be inspirations inspirations are things that could draw you you see oh well there were 50 people at this event 30 people 100 people 150 people and you're like oh my god i want mine to stand out that way and the event was highly coordinated and so when there's an inspiration it guards and guides your revelation when you're able to envision things by prayer when you're able to envision things by words of counter envision things when you sit down with your partner or whoever you're working with to make this day a blessing they are actually real-time healthy ask real-time healthy couples they would either tell you at the early start of their relationship or marriage they argued a lot or as they are going together they noticed that the more they actually had disagreements the more they were able to heal and grow together why because disagreement means i'm seeing things a particular way and you're seeing things a different way and our our perspectives may either merge together or our perspectives can either individually stand and make us better together it's like this okay it's like i believe that rice is good for the body and you believe that beans is better and i'm like you know what i'm going to stick on rice because rice is this and i'm giving all the facts and everything i have grown with and include the testimonies of what rice has done with me and you're like beans you don't even need a testimony can you see what beans is doing in my life now as the couple are going together that disagreement is something that can actually seek to tear them apart but then as they are going together and they are trusting god and they are building it on christ because there are days when the disagreement is so heated and this means a lot to each of them and it can threaten to tear them apart and in fact they begin to have thoughts of i wish i never got married maybe maybe i should just be single i think i need a vacation um one of the encouraging factors is factor there are days when you feel that you want to escape and escaping doesn't mean that situation is going to leave escaping means that if you escape or leave that situation just because you feel like it's not understanding you the point is some days you may need to stay stay and wait stay and trust god 
for change for you both to be able to merge your beliefs together and make it beautiful have you seen where rice and beans is eaten as a meal together it is so simply amazing simply beautiful so trust god okay the forgive and forget factor is the fact that we may not always see things from the same perspective but imagine if someone is not voicing out and then all of a sudden when this mindset is voicing out it is something that it's like the person is exploding a little fire can lead to an explosion do you get but if you're seeing the fire and it's starting out even if it's just you know just the corner of the house i mean you're extinguishing it as by using the fire extinguisher to actually let it go you know so it's very important that you trust god okay and you're willing to deal with issues and face them ahead on some days you may feel embarrassed some days you may feel you may feel anxious but be willing to face the issues ahead on that's how you're going to grow together the forgive and forget factor there's nobody even your spouse your children that may not even offend you at some point and some days point aggression may not be because you're bad or because you did something wrong it may just be their mood swing i remember one time i was going through serious grief and i want you to know that something i enjoyed something i joked around with that people would look at me and say oh my god you don't have that thing like that is such a bad thing and feel remorseful it was something i actually joked about in my life until i had that thing and when i was going through this serious grief a close family member was actually trying to just lighten up you know my mood i was joking around with it i want you to know i cried for days and the tears were not because of what the person said it was because i was going through grief so everything was hurting me even the things i loved was hurting me because i was going through grief it wasn't about them it was just that I was extra touchy and so some days it can be like that be also be willing to show mercy i mean someone who is naturally nice to you as a spouse is not being nice today it doesn't make them any less a loving partner it can be a mood a bad day is not a bad time a bad day is not a bad life a bad day is not a bad marriage or a bad season or when things are not going so well whether it's job wise or career wise or an investment or whatever you have been building together or maybe even one of your children you know is just misbehaving you know it doesn't mean that your marriage is bad your spouse is a priority and so trust god as you are building together trust god for those healthy disagreements that would be able to help you both merge together your oneness i'm so there was this lady about my height okay really slim and pretty really slim and pretty like i really admire her figure so she was talking about her current partner and they are engaged and they get married soon so she was talking about the when she met this guy now she has had other guys she has met before but it was just the series of one misunderstanding or the other she dated them for a while and they were great guys i mean ingenious guys smart guys some were philanthropists some were in quotes relationship gurus there were different type of guys but just that no matter how amazing they were in their career or the things they love doing or their hobbies the point was that they were amazing people so far so good and i'd met one of them and he i clicked up with him as far to build a healthy relationship acquaintance with him as far as was really a nice person so far so good but she didn't always see it that way with all of those men when we we're in the chat room she didn't talk about all of them but because we have had a chat before the chat room okay so we're able to talk about our relationship defects and everything and she said that he has done a lot of things to her and that have really hurt her they have had disagreements that were even borderline or toxic but then they have been able to scale through it i know how they say the best couples are those who have gone through everything every every single thing bad time hard time good time that i like to try them and they still come out stronger and she's one of those people she's one of those enthusiasts so the point remains god can make a spouse for you those guys would have tried their best with her but for some reason even though they could have clicked even though they could have had chemistry let's go for that revelation of who your spouse should be some of you are going to see visions some of you are going to see have dreams and are going to be like and these dreams are going to be significant of who your partner would be or, or is but some of you would not have that some of you and what i would encourage here is have something a revelation of god of what god means to you that would guide you on the kind of partner you want to have example just like the lady said she said in our walk with god she feels peace that one of the things that helps her as she moves through life is peace that means she goes to a new workplace and everything is in disarray but she feels like this is where i'm supposed to be is you know in our general society oh my god that's a bad woman like are you sure you're supposed to be there but then 
he said she still felt peace and that is how it has always been in her life and so she meeting this guy as a safe placement that even when things were not necessarily going well with him or his traumas or the things they have been going through individually separated or together she still felt this clarity that's the word clarity 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 that this is where i'm supposed to be at the time i'm supposed to be here this guy is it for me this guy is it for me and this is the guy we can scale through life together this is this guy is it for me i mean even if they have something they are good at together whether they are graphic designers together illustrators together basketballers together they're both into football or sports the point remains that she still says this guy is it for me do you realize that some of the days a reason why god may place you in a family or have you grew up with certain people whether it's just from roommates or friendships maybe for you to experience what is called trial and error for you to understand what works for you and what doesn't you may grow up with a family in a family and especially if you're not the only child or you grow up with a lot of people you may begin to see some traits in particular individuals and say i wouldn't want to be with someone like this in the future you may you may see another sibling or if i remember be like if i want to have a spouse this person has qualities that fits me this person understands me so basically some days when you're going into a family you begin to understand the kind of mindset of personalities you actually even want to spend the rest of your life with just by being in that family so some days it's not coincidence especially if maybe at some point you'd have experienced discord and maybe there are just few or maybe just even one and you're a lot one that understands you you just begin to understand hey this doesn't work for me hey this works for me this is the kind of person i should want to be with when you grow up in certain families and so trust god so when you grow up in a family and maybe the dynamics are just real time toxic or what you wouldn't be okay with just trust God that you'll find at least something or someone that which you st can still relate to and see a potential future with someone similar. Just trust God that you'll be able to find truth even when there are so many trials with these people you meet even as you go through life basically and say I won't spend the rest of my life with this kind of person basically. So dissimilar yet so suited and fitted to one another for each other so it's okay if you don't agree with everything it's okay if you like tennis and you like football it's okay if you like purple cottons and you like pink it's okay if you prefer checkered bed sheets and you think plain will be much more better like well why would you want to use checkered when you could use plain where you could see everything you know so it's okay if you don't agree on everything some of these things you don't agree on will bring a smile to your face some of those things you don't agree on will remind you the reason why this person is worth it that means it's beyond just the things you like it's it's the whole of who you are the whole of how suited you both are to each other how much you even this affection runs deeper even when there are these discrepancies here and there and so be willing to trust god it's okay and there's this thing you hear a lot of believers and preachers say focus on jesus only it's because when you're focusing on jesus you're focusing on who he is the entirety of who jesus is the revelation of what jesus means to you in that season that's two and three what jesus would have you be and the things that makes you you the things jesus is revealing to you about you and that's where places of your hobbies you know career choices purpose destiny you're just doing some things you just like doing some things and all of a sudden you make it into a business so you just enjoy doing some things and and it helps it makes you smile and it also helps people in their life it enlightens them about jesus it enlightens them about the world it enlightens them about the light you carry and makes them want to know who you serve that makes you this bright you know it can be in your academics you're shining so bright it's in in focus that you can and you should be able to find that focus on jesus and so when we talk about focus is the fact that even when you do really love your spouse and enjoy your spouse and all of that it's very important that you are focusing on jesus jesus would help you love him 
He's just to let, help you love yourself. It will help you value your spouse. Your spouse essence. Even when maybe some of the days they misbehave. Like we said, mood swings and what's not. Even when you don't always understand why your spouse behaves certain ways. Maybe at certain times of the day. Or when you mention certain things that normally don't trigger people. But may trigger your spouse. And even when you are asking your spouse. Your spouse may not want to talk so much about it. There are days when people have subconscious traumas. That some actions literally trigger them until maybe there's a revelation and they remember some something that could have triggered that it could even be a childhood thing and they don't remember but it's something that's followed them into adulthood so basically just trust god okay focusing on jesus is, is a place of where your hobbies are the things you like the things that the seemingly beautiful things in the world those little things that people may not even pay attention to but you do these things make you uniquely you an individual it makes you who you are even if there are people similar to you where you come from the things you like all these things are part of you and so it's very beautiful it makes your spouse or whoever loves you okay see more reasons to want to encourage pour out their affection on you if you like a certain thing and your spouse says okay i like this person how can i help this person love this thing better and the person is willing to invest whether it's financially emotionally supporting you know these are things that could make your love grow but if you don't have anything you could like apart from your spouse like your spouse is already investing in themselves and so your relationship something things that can basically bond it okay um big things that can basically bond it together basically for example there is this thing they do some days for example if you put glue on an item and you want to mer merge it together and they don't want to merge you can actually add sand you can sprinkle sand sand could actually make it adhere the particles and so we are trying to use the idea of focus with sand that means you both are already so good at what you at who you are you are so amazing people but you might just have things that you still like you inherently maybe it could just be a dream a vision something that you probably don't have the time for even but your spouse you can both work together and have time for it, it can be something you maybe voiced out you know but your spouse is oh this person really deeply values this thing but this person doesn't just always talk about it maybe because they feel like nobody's gonna pay attention and so some of these things are ways they could be those little sand particles you know like those kind of sand you see on the beach you know those kind of sand is sand basically that can bond you both together and make your love stronger asking god to prepare you is not just asking god to help you be firm and strong at all times asking god to prepare you is asking god to give you wisdom willing to trust god okay even when it comes to sensitive matters bear out your emotions this is your spouse even if you are being strong and firm with your co-workers or some people that you work with and you don't necessarily have emotional attachment with this is your spouse it's supposed to be your best buddy and you must be willing to bear out your emotions it will help you both gain greater ground for god to build you both together and still being willing to bear out your weakness and say this is what attracts me to other people and makes me want to encode view them in sexual light or makes me even if i just like them plainly but it's almost turning into a sexual form and another beautiful thing about having a partner is someone that can put you in check the bible even says two are better than one for if one for the other will help him up and so be willing to know those weaknesses that could potentially destroy your partnership trust god and like by saying finding a revelation of what god means to you basically every believer basically feels peace a certain atom of peace but peace means different things to different people like we have mentioned although one thing is sure okay one thing about peace especially when there are storms all around and everything is so stormy is the fact that you're with this person and it feels like there is this oneness and you feel like no matter what you go to you know you know that you both can brave it together you know that things can get better together you can also recreate experiences you know just the same way you have times when you don't you feel lackluster into doing things that could spice up your mood you could recreate your experiences you could set up schedules schedules for dates schedules for you know night out schedules for events basically things that can help your bonding 
beyond just you both staying at home together or you both having something you know maybe you both are good at dancing and you both dance together something that can just maybe so maybe so different but can still bring you both together and you can still find oneness despite it being not your niche like it, it's not your what you are so good at but you both it can bring you both together it can make you both want to think together to find solutions it can be a game it can be game night it can be an invite something you're both invited to but you can also recreate experiences by actually just setting up dates and scheduling for you good it can be vacations you can set it up every year and when your finances are in order you you set vacations maybe to a particular country or a particular place and you both should have something at you but like for example people will take vacations some people take vacations because they want to experience the beauty with beaches you know b e a c e s c h e s some people take vacations because they just want to experience the tourist view some people take vacations because they want to spend it at beautiful hotels some people take vacations because they want to eat good food some people take it because they want to just experience new things all together but the point is you both can still have something you're so excited about every year it can be oh my god i saw this new hotel like so basically we create experiences basically it would help your love grow stronger so when you recreate experiences and you set up schedules like that even when you're both not feeling up to it or there is a form of you know uh, toughness or a storm going on because you both have set it up it could even be after set up the plane tickets and whatever you have booked it from the beginning of the year so you both cannot just avoid it and the spirit of love and hope and your marriage can still work and your marriage will keep growing and your love keep growing stronger you both will still go on it and you know so basically we create experiences we create experiences there is no one that can grow you know and always find something beautiful to look at in your spouse you know always find something beautiful to look at even if you're not always going to compliment something just always find something beautiful to look at and always make sure you're noticing paying attention to details it doesn't matter if it's just oh you're reading a new book oh like you changed your your toilet case oh you you did this is that a new brush you just find something to always notice it shows your perceptive it shows that you're paying attention so just trust god okay but when you are there when you are available make sure your presence is known make sure you you notice things that matter i mean <laughs> it doesn't have to be something big it can just be oh you changed the curtain oh the best shit this feels like a different texture oh you got your nails done <laughs> oh this looks different i haven't seen this on you is it from the same dealer i like this one better you know you could just pay attention little details you know little steps little jobs make an ocean like they say it's those little things you may remember when you have fights and crises and could bring a smile to your face you know so trust god if you have a fear of marriage and it could have come from trauma one of your fears could be if I get married maybe my life is going to come to an end maybe all I'm going to be especially if you're a lady is a baby maker maybe I'm just going to be a slave to my husband or well maybe I'm just going to live a redundant life you know my life is just going to be less exciting but the truth about marriage just like even the bible says this is marriage is more the bible says two are better than one the bible says one shall chase um a thousand i'm paraphrasing and two shall chase about ten thousand do you see how powerful that is marriage is partnership it is more it is more solidified partnership that runs deeper than just doing business together it's something that binds your spirit your soul your body together it's something that you and someone especially in this oneness of a man and a woman getting married it's it's very deep basically marriage is partnership and so just like the bible says you know partnership you know it's partnership and so another thing is marriage is alignment for seasons do you realize that when you're about to switch certain seasons and you don't even know it your partner can have a prompt and that's why you see some storms are brewing or coming up 
maybe there's just some things you have been reluctant about all of a sudden your partner begins to take up that thing so passionately and for you you may feel like this is not the right time for this like maybe we can do this later or your partner just begins to behave very weirdly some days your partner's misdemeanor or misbehavior can be calling for a new season I still use it to to let you know that hey it is time to switch seasons trial can prune you for the next season and so trust god okay basically that trying time or season especially when your partner is so adamant can serve as a season where you, you are either standing firm in that or you are moving to the next season with whatever god is doing with you both individually and together as, as one together partners maintaining your individuality yet coming together as a very strong unit you know like what is a power couple stuff about so basically what this i'm just going to describe it okay so when you just put the fire on it it just begins to burn and sparkles all over we used to do that as children and what we would do is one person's one is sparkling and the other person's one is sparkling and we put it together do you know when we put it together it's it's actually the spark becomes bigger and larger that's an example of your maintaining your individuality yet you are you are a much more stronger unit can be a greater force power couple is just beyond oh we're good at dancing together oh well we we like setting meals together oh well we we like traveling around the world together and getting new experiences it's deep it's deeper it's alignment to for seasons and that's why we encourage you in christendom to to invite god into your partnership and into your decision making process and choosing a partner and entrusting god for that partner because when god is in line with that choice okay god is going to be letting you know that this person is going to be with you transition season new season old season you're just going through everything together isolation yes even when you're going through isolation this person would literally be there and like we're saying or we have said the person won't always the person can be there if you need the person to give you soothing words or basically just trust god okay but marriage is also for alignment for seasons uh.